Hey everybody, I'm Jersey from windowcleaner.com and this is WCR Nation, the window cleaning podcast. Today, we are going to be talking about how nobody cares about you. Nobody gives two dumps about you. So hopefully, maybe you'll take a thing or two out of it. Hopefully, you don't cry too much. I know I will try to hold back the tears, but either way, stay tuned to WCR Nation. What's up, everybody? Jersey here from Nation and windowcleaner.com. What's going on? You're here. Thank you for checking us out. This is the Window Cleaning Podcast, of course, so have a look around. Hopefully you enjoy it. If you are somebody who watches every week, you give me the thumbs up on the videos there on YouTube. You listen on iTunes and any other SoundCloud platform, SoundCloud podcast platform, like SoundCloud, and you've given me reviews, and most importantly, you've ordered your supplies through me, what's up? It is because of you that... I get to have name brand things in my life. Thank you guys very, very much. And if you want to be a cool kid, if you want to be one of the awesome, one of the nation, you want to order your supplies through me, 862-312-2026. That is my cell phone. Save it. Text me. I get new clients every single week. People just text to say, what's up? The podcast has done a lot for me. It's awesome. I absolutely am uh, just melted away by all the kindness you guys throw my way. So... Thank you very much. Keep ordering through me. And a couple of quick shout outs today. I want to say what's up to David Davies. What's going on, man? You are the reason I'm going to have some name brand cheese with that cheddar. Thanks, man, for everything. Sam Green, what's going on? And Brian Stone, you made my week, man. Uh, What's up? So either way, save my number. But this week we're talking about something interesting. We're going to talk about something that is... An epiphany, maybe? Maybe it's something you haven't quite realized. Maybe it's just something hasn't really, you know, popped into your brain before. But it is going to today. And here's what it is. All of our lives, we've gotten participation trophies, right? We've gotten, you know, um, our parents have said, oh, you are so awesome. You're just, oh, they just so, right? A lot of us have. Depending on what generation, a lot of us have. And that's cool. Positive reinforcement's awesome. You know, I practice it with my kids. But there's a truth to this that people don't really talk about. Because it's not super glamorous. It's not awesome. It doesn't make you feel warm and fuzzy. And if you understand this truth, it will change your view. It changes your life. This is a life-changing episode of Nation. (laughs) <laughs> as if they all aren't. Hmm? No, uh, this actually is one of the things, this is one of the biggest concepts that I, uh, you know, struggle, not struggle with, but have to continue to let myself know. It's very, very hard because you think that everybody out there, you know, your world or what you're going through, you don't think about it, but it's not a big deal to anybody else, right? Right? Think about this. Say, think about your your Uncle Joe. Ah, oh, Uncle Joe lost his job. Oh, man. That sucks. What are we having for dinner? That's what happens when something happens to somebody else. Yes, you feel bad. We're not monsters. But it's very, very, very hard to empathize with somebody on such an, a, a monstrous thing. Right? So... In the world where you think that everybody else, the pressures are all on everybody. Oh man, everybody, it's gotta die, gotta, gotta do good. It's well, no one gives two dumps about you. That's you know what I'm trying to say. That's that's the PG version of not giving two you know what's. But nobody does. And here's the hard thing to kind of wrap your brain around is the only person it affects if you suck or you're awesome is you. That's the only person, right? But Jersey, I'm married. I have kids. They're affected. Yeah, they are. But guess what? They're going to assume, just like Uncle Joe, that you're going to go out there and get another job. You're going to have a sucky time, but you're going to get another job, right? We're a little different. In business, there is no other job. We'd have to get fired a thousand times, right? 
Some of us less than others, some of us more than others, right? Yes, we can lose money, but to actually be out of work, we have to lose a lot. Now, I know there are people out there who, especially wintertime, right? Wintertime is hard, um, and that's coming up. If you're new in the business, please, please understand this concept right away because it does take a while to kind of get this. But the truth of the matter is nobody cares about you like you care about you. And the only person that is really truly affected is you. Let's dive into that kind of concept a little bit. Because the way that this helps you understand this is that you're either going to clone or fire yourself. And I did this one day. This is years ago. Years ago. I had probably halfway in my career ago. I was sitting there. And I had spent the entire day, the crews come back, I had spent the whole day just on YouTube, and nothing got accomplished. Nothing. I was in a funk. I was in a fate, like, just, it was, you get to a point where you've been there, you've done it, the big checks don't matter, new jobs kind of don't get you excited. We lose that, that, that steam, right? And they came back, and, uh, I just happened to be doing something, you know, and I mean, I was doing stuff during the day, but I really, I would have fired myself, right? But uh, somebody, uh, one of my guys had come back and jokingly was like, man, you're still on the computer? I was like, yeah, that's kind of what I do all day. He goes, ah, man, that's, and uh, my operations guy was like, who cares? Who cares if he's on playing blackjack all day? It's his business. He could do whatever he wants. And that's when it kind of like hit me like, crap crap those guys don't care if i work hard they need work and they're not going to work for me if i don't bring in work but nobody else cares what i do during the day the only person that i'm showing off for or creating for or getting excited for is myself now if you have a big business which you see sometimes it turns into measuring contests but there's a lot of guys and girls out there who have giant companies you'll never ever know they have giant companies a lot of my clients that have monstrous companies. There's guys that just are the down to earth coolest dudes and they're like, oh, I need a couple more systems and you shoot them out. Like, Whoa, I forget, you're a baller, man, right? So there's a lot of that out there, but nobody cares on if you succeed or you don't in the same sense that you do. There's, there's very, very seldom other people who actually care to that degree. And here's why. When you fail in business, because remember, when everybody started, when everybody was saying, oh, what are you doing? Oh, you're starting a business? Oh, what did everybody say? Everybody said to you, they said, oh, yeah, well, what's your backup plan? Or, wow, well, what if that doesn't work? What's going to, oh, you know, there's lots of windows out there. I bet you'll do great. There's nobody who quite gets it like an entrepreneur, right? Because there's so much risk in the beginning. But that being said, people are already assuming you're going to fail. Not that you suck. Not that your business plan sucks. Maybe you do, but maybe you're awesome. But the point of the matter is, is that they already assumed you were going to fail. Because that's how people get into business. Every business. Look at, uh, read stories on Amazon when they first came out. You know, with the spray, spray painted Amazon sign. Same thing. Well, this is kind of a cute thing, but you'll, you'll wear it out. You know, oh, the internet's a fad. You know, all those little things that kind of came out. Nobody expects anybody to succeed right away. It just doesn't happen. Because a normie, going to uh, Josh Latimer and his, uh, his wordage there, but you get to a normie, somebody who's not in business, they don't get it. They don't get the excitement. They don't get the thrill of, like, literally walking the wire between being broke and making lots of money they don't get that so for them all they see is oh this guy's not doing the secure way man you should have a great job go to college get a great job work for somebody else who will then pay you and you don't have to worry about if it goes under because the company's already seated that company started from somewhere even if you go work at a doctor's office the doctor's office still had to come from somewhere they don't get that they don't get that so it's very, very different. The only person that you're trying to impress and the only person who cares if you do good is you. And here is the million dollar question. I just asked this a couple days ago to somebody. But 
If you took what you do during the day, would you hire a bunch more of you or clone yourself? Or would you fire yourself? And I went back to that day when I was sitting at my computer, wasting my valuable, valuable time, waiting for five o'clock so I could just go home. And I wonder, man, if I walked across an employee of mine that made what I made today, because obviously you make money working at a company if you do something or not. But I brought no value. Would I have paid somebody else what I just paid myself to do what I did? No. Heck no. I realized that day that I would have fired myself. I would have fired myself. And here's where the valuable question is. For you listening to this right now, we're not getting deep, you know. But I want you to comment on YouTube if you're there. Comment and tell me if you would hire yourself or fire yourself and why. Here's the thing. You can say all the time, hire. Oh, man, I'm awesome. I'm great. But really, really look at what you're doing. Are you keeping busy or are you being productive? Because there's a heck of a big difference. And you know something? In business, no one cares if you're one or the other. You could look busy all day, but no one cares like no one. No one. So here's the question you have to ask yourself. If you hire or fire yourself, why? Are there areas where you can be better? Because you're not proving anything to me. You're not proving anything to your neighbor. Maybe you want to still have that excitement of proving something that you can create something from nothing. That's super awesome. But the only person... That really is going to benefit us for you. Because if you can increase your business this year by 50%, by 100%, another question, you're on YouTube, tell me your percentage this year, what you think your growth is going to be. I love to hear that stuff. But if you think you're going to grow that now, say you're going to grow 100% this year. That's awesome. Huge numbers. What if you only did 50 instead of 100? Well, next year, when you do your growth numbers, You've already lost a whole year of that 50% of growth. You've already lost the benefit or the chance to grow your company the way it was. Maybe you're only strengthening your company. But maybe you didn't do what you should have done. There is a guy that you guys probably know and his name is um, uh, Bobby Walker. He calls himself Bob. I don't like that. It's a life of an entrepreneur. The... The Life of an Entrepreneur. But the podcast is amazing. Search it if you haven't seen Bobby Walker, super, super awesome guy. uh, Awesome friend. But he said last week, he came on and he said, uh, are you a little B-word? That was a kind of a shocking uh, kind of question. Like, are you you a little B-word? That's tough. Because it's, it's, it's hard to hear... Somebody call you that. Because if I walked up to you right now, I'd be like, man, you're a little, you know, i got to come up with a better word so I'm not swearing. But, you know, you're, you're, you're that. You're going to take instant offense to it. It's very, very hard to step back and look at yourself to say, is that what I'm doing? Is that who I am? Because his video talked all about people who complain about why They're not doing what they should be doing or why they're not where they are or why the economy is not doing great or why the... And everything about it comes back to the fact that it's you. The one thing that we have in business, in entrepreneur, you could be an accountant and you have the same exact thing, but there's one thing in business that you don't find anywhere else to the same degree. And that's drive. Like, you can have drive. I'm a a salesman. You have to have drive to call on the people that you know needed you to call them and to continually talk to people and answer questions. And if you guys haven't seen, I work a lot. I work 13-hour days. I'm on at 10 a.m. East Coast time, and I get off live chat at 11 p.m., and I am basically there all day long. Before that, I go to the gym and, like, you know, grocery shop or something because I'm pretty much in front of a computer the rest of the time. 
People go, whoa, dead is a long time. Well, yeah, but you know what I know? Something I also sit out on the porch and wait for my kids to come home. Or I make dinner for my family. Every, family. Family. I make dinner for my family. I make dinner for my family every single night. Uh, there's a lot of benefits to that. But there's also a lot of availability. I have to be available for people. Now, on the weekends is different. I don't really work much on the weekends. There's not much you can kind of do. I work Saturday morning to kind of catch up, and then I won't talk to people again, usually until Sunday night when I get back on live chat. Friday nights are like my day, man. So, anyway, the drive itself, if you have it, pushes you forward. But the thing with drive is just like love. Love, you know, in a, in a relationship with your wife or, or husband, Love is the same thing as drive. You can fall out of love just like you can lose your drive. And I lost it. I lost it and I know you guys have lost it. I know you've been sitting there before like, Ugh, it's cold out, I don't want to go. It's hot out, I don't want to go. Uh, I stayed up too late last night, I don't want to go. I got a new video game or a new movie's out. or I like woodworking. I, mean, ah, I got those new tools I want to go play with. There's a lot of stuff that you could do other than what you do. And don't for one minute think that when you see these super productive people out there who are, you know, driving, they're on these videos, Grand card oh, in your face, man, I'm driving to fly because I got so much stuff going on. Cool. But I'm guaranteeing you they get burnt out too. There's no way not to. There's no way not to because when your mind is focused, you're burning it, man. Why do you think you see, if you have such a killer day, you just got, Tons done. How? Why do you think you sleep so well? Because it takes so much mental focus. You're burning fuel by thinking. You're burning fuel by doing. So only you're the one that has to make yourself do that. There's nobody else out there who could push you like you. There's just no one. Here's the hard truth of the matter is that if you fail or you succeed, it is because of you. Right. Here's where I get angry emails from people who are having a hard time or are saying the economy is doing what it's doing, which we're in a fantastic economy. Um, but they're whatever they say. And they send me these messages to say, you know, you're wrong. And that's cool. Have your opinion, man. This is just my opinion. You can have your opinion. Absolutely. But they say, no, I did everything I could. Okay. I'm going to call BS on that. And that in our house is bologna sandwich. I'm going to call bologna sandwich. I got two daughters, man. But I'm going to call bologna sandwich on that. And here's the reason why. Look at yourself. Look at yourself. If you're, man, I didn't have a month. I had a, a sucky month. Like things, you know. Yes, weather can affect that. Right? Yes, economy could affect that. The people could affect that. But there's more that you could be doing than you are. I'm guaranteeing you that not every single person out there is giving it 100% of themselves. They couldn't possibly do more. It's crazy. It's crazy when you think about what you're capable of. Because here, we've all been in that place where we've just done amazing things. And we've been in places where we've just kind of gone through the day. And no one cares which one you are. It's up to you. You're only impressing yourself. You're only proving something to yourself. And you're only build, building a business that you give two dumps about. Because here's the thing. A lot of you out there may have gotten fired in the past from a regular job. And it sucked. When it, you got fired that day, it was, oh, man, what did you do the next day? You started looking for another job. Because that's what you did. Right? A lot of us have the option to do what we're doing. Now, because of what's happened in the past. It's the same thing in the future. If right now, for some reason, the government made window cleaning illegal. I don't know. That's stupid. That's stupid. But it is. Right? If that happened, what would we do? We'd move. We'd rotate. We'd go somewhere else. It's the same reason that Kodak doesn't make necessarily film, you know, in the same sense that they are. Now they're into imaging. There's a lot of companies who didn't turn, who didn't pivot, like Blockbuster, who could never fail. They're so awesome. Fail. And the reason is, is because they expected things to happen. They got complacent. They didn't do everything in their power to make things happen 
soon enough because they were complacent at one time. Listen, I worked there. It was my second job all my life. I worked at Blockbuster. And for you, some of you millennials out there, they rented movies on VHS, the big chunky things, you know. And uh, DVDs had been out for a while, a couple years. And we had a wall, a section of DVDs, smaller than the section, the wall behind me. It was like 10 titles. And everybody would ask, we're like, no, we're just not really getting into the DVD thing. Oops. Right? Netflix comes along. All of a sudden, people can get movies for next to nothing, sent to their door. And then all of a sudden, we're like, ah, I don't, it won't worry. Nah, it's not a big, oh, crap, it's too late. We're going to blockbuster unlimited. We're going to send movies. Oh, it's too late. That's what it is with your business. Your business is what it is because of you. And I don't want to say this because I help people who go through tough times. Listen, if you've talked to me on a personal level about your business, I truly am not talking to you in any specific sense. And I probably told you over the phone, like, what can you do more? What can we do more to kind of help that? What I'm talking about is when Bobby put that video out, it made me go right back to that time. Right back to that time when it was everything else that was going on in my life, everything else that was going on in business that was the reason why I sat there all day doing YouTube videos. I don't even know what I was what I was doing. All I know is it was like way too long of a day and nothing got accomplished. I would have fired myself in a second. In a second. But here's the benefits of this whole thing. This whole ridiculous episode about no one giving two dumps about you is that the benefit to that, and it could be a benefit or a con, but is there's no other job out there like entrepreneur working for yourself that you are in control of raises and pay decreases, demotions or promotions. You literally are the one that's in charge of that. Because here's the thing, if for some reason this episode hits you somewhere, it just resonates, it gets that fire back. If you go out there and just kill it, kill it. Like what month are we in right now? We are in the go month, we're in September right now, middle of September, when this episode airs, 2019. Go back and watch this episode again, summer next year. Go back and see. Okay, okay. So what did I do in September of last year that got me to where I am now? Because you're the one that did that. Yes, I've had luck. We've all had luck in business. We've had good luck. We've had bad luck. I've gotten dumped on with bad luck before, where it just felt like the whole world was crumbling down. Of course it's not, but that's what you feel like, right? Well, what you provide, what you make happen, is what really, really matters. Because luck's going to be there. Situation is going to be there regardless of what you do. But if you go now and you spend the next two months pushing the crap out of your business, listen, honey, I'm going to be late to dinner. Like, listen, just... Give me two months. We'll talk on the weekends, but I'm going to get two months. I'm just going to go as hard as I can. I'm going to wake up earlier. I'm going to go in earlier. I'm going to leave a little later. People go, oh, we have, you got families. You can't leave them by. Absolutely. I completely understand that. But a family built around small business already understands what sacrifice is. Give a small sacrifice. What is it? September 15th? Give a month. Give two months right now. It'll get you into November 15th, right? That is when season starts to slow down. It's starting to kind of end things, especially when we're in Wisconsin. I know there's you guys out there in California who go forever. But if you can go right now and just get that fire back under your butt and realize you are in control of making it or failing, if you work your butt off to make that happen, I'm telling you right now, Next year, this time, you'll not even remember the sacrifice that you did. But you'll know it every time you look at your bank, every time you look at your company, how strong your company is, where you're at. It's very, very easy to become complacent. Because you assume it's just like, ah, man, everything's just going wrong right now. It's just anything I do is wrong. No, that's not right. Everything you're currently doing, maybe. But look at other avenues. What other things can you do to succeed? If you were working for somebody else, what could you do? What if your performance for somebody else, you're working for a Fortune 500 company and you're doing what you're doing now? 
do you think that they'd be like, wow, yeah, we're going to let you go because you're just not doing enough. I'm doing everything I buy. No, you're not. You're not. Now, listen, I'm not talking to all of you because if some of you are out there who really, really, really step back and look at it and you say, I'm doing everything. I'm such a hustler, go-getter. I've done everything. I haven't, I haven't watched TV in two years. I haven't, you know, fill in the blank. I don't know what you people do. But if you haven't done that, you've just been busting your hump, awesome. Now, don't do this forever because it will burn you out. I know that because I've been there. You've probably been there. Some of you long-time guys, you've been there. How long was it? For me, it was seven years. A seven-year itch, that's absolutely true. Comment down below if you're watching on YouTube what years got in. It's, uh, it was seven years for me. But going out there, doing that, pushing the envelope now gets you that much farther later. It's, it's very, very important. And the other thing is that we always earn a pawn. It's always um, uh, compounded interest, right? If you make a dollar today, tomorrow you're going to have interest on that dollar, right? If you put $5 in today, when that compounds on your interest that you've made on the $5, you're actually going to make more. It's the same thing in business. You just put out there what you can, make as much as you can next year, then you'll grow on top of what you've done. And now I'm not talking about just growing and being bigger and getting cruised because some of you aren't in that position. Some of you don't want to be. But if you're going out there and making yourself a stronger company, getting rid of the crap jobs and strengthening it with some big money makers, some of the big ones, some of the ones where you know you're making a bunch of money, you're not stepping over dollars to make pennies, you're just killing it. If you're strengthening yourself, you're optimizing everything. Think about where you are next year if you're that much faster, more productive. It's just it's one of those concepts that's very, very easy to overlook because you just kind of see yourself floating through and uh, it is very hard. And for me, it was a huge, huge mind awakening thing to know that nobody else cares about you like you care about you. If you fail, people will assume you'll get a job because they already assumed it in the beginning, right? How many of you have gone through crappy times in business and somebody's like, oh, well, maybe it's time to get a real job. The heck did you say to me? That's the fire. I'm going to tell you, when I decided what I was, always had like side hustles, right? I always kind of loved business. And when I decided finally I was getting into window cleaning, this is forever ago. I happened to be going over to my uh, parents' house and uh, my uncle was over, and he was a business owner too, land, land, lawn care and landscaping. They're sitting at the kitchen table, and I'm talking, and we're just whatever. Oh, hey, you know, I finally decided what I was going to do. Oh, yeah, what are you going to do? I said, I'm going to be a window cleaner. I'm going to clean windows. And they both kind of looked at each other and started laughing. Oh, it was so funny for them. And it built such a big fire. You stupid people. How are you not understanding what I see? How are you not understanding what I'm going to do? Super cool, but within two years, uh, my company was bigger than his. No no harm or fall. That's not really the, the point of the problem. But the point is, is that the fire that drives you, it's like the coal on a train. If you're going up a hill, you want to go faster, you put more in. What you put in is what you get out. Cliches all aside, the cliches are there for a reason, right? You put in a higher octane gas, you're going to get better performance. It's just the facts, man. It's just the facts. Let's go out there and just be amazing. And understand that you're the only one that cares if you succeed or not. And secretly, I care. I want you all to succeed. I want you all to be fired up. Like, I had some awesome, awesome text this week. Um, and it was basically saying that I have inspired the fire back kind of where they are. And it just like, yes, yes, yes. That's what these are supposed to do. I'm sorry if this was a boring one, and I hope you made it to the end. Because if you did, I'm going to give you a code for 5% off if you order through me, which a lot of you do, which is super, super awesome. By the way, full disclosure, I am now officially not a window cleaner. My business was sold in the beginning of September, so the only way that I can feed my babies... <laughs> I'm playing Sarah McLachlan right now in my head. No, but the only way that I'm making any chatter right now is, of course... People buy supplies from me. So everybody that does, I cannot say thank you enough. There's so many of you who I put every single order in, and that's what I want. I want every single order so you don't forget me. Every single order. 
which is absolutely awesome. So if you want to be one of the cool kids, somebody who pays my bills, which sounds even worse, but it's not going to cost you extra to have me as your rep. Please do. I really would appreciate it. I love helping people. And that is the big part of it. My number directs 862-312-2026. 862-312-2026. The code for this week is going to be two dumps. Because why not? But if you got to order it through me, don't go on and order your stuff and be like, oh yeah, by the way. That's not how it works. And make sure you tell me the code, especially if you're texting. Hey, Jersey, what's up? It's fill in the blank. Everything's in my cart. Go ahead and put the order in. I'm going to do the two things. I'm going to text you back, tell you how awesome you are, because you are. And I really, 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 really appreciate when you guys do that like, immensely, more than you'll ever know. But I'm going to verify your address. And in that time, when you say yes on the last one, and I'll say, oh, you want to use card one, two, three, four, if it's already in the system, I'm going to place the order. So make sure if you got that code, two dumps, you tell me that. Everything's in my cart. Two dumps. It's the dumbest code ever. <laughs> but do that. Do that. Let me order for you guys. I know. Listen, you don't have to order all the time. But when you do order, please order through me. I want to be a rep for everything. If you need to send me an email, it is jersey at windowcleaner.com. Please let me do anything and everything for you. Go out there and uh, uh, do everything you can to clone yourself. Push it. I want to know about it. If you push it, tell me about it. Go out there and be epic. 